outside work today with the kicking game? We did. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're talking about the, the weather situation we had today. So, obviously, I've learned that from uh, golfers. You know, talking about golfers always talk about if you get, you know, a rainy day, get out there and play. And so, uh, any sort of weather we get, you can't be like, well, we'd like to work in the wind, but we don't have a wind machine. So, today we had a little bit of, we had moisture. Uh, we had real high winds. It was probably a little harder on them because we did it on the practice field, so there's no stadium blocking the stuff. But today we did everything. We did kickoffs into that wind and into that cold and into the snow. And then we did uh, uh, punts into it. Anybody can do it with it. So, all those, and then we also then we kicked field goals and extra points with it, too. So, uh, it was a good challenge for them. It was a good mental challenge for them at that. And every opportunity we get with weather, we're always going to use it uh, to be able to get out and get that done. Guys, Guys handled it really well. They're excited about doing it, so we're, we got good work with it. You got a lot of position battles to kind of figure out, I yeah. suppose, in camp. I'd like to start with the returner. Yeah. Who are you working there, and what have you seen from maybe some of those players and your return units as well? Sure, I, I, I've been very happy with them. You know, but in, in the punt return game, one of the pluses is that we've added two people. I mean, Trey Palmer, who's done it live, you know, at LSU, and obviously I was with him at LSU, so I know him very well. And then, so that was a big, uh, a big plus for us. Then Tommy Hill's been, he's a natural at it. He's been doing a great job with us there. And then also, I, I challenged Brody Belt really hard. Um, uh, Brody had an okay year with it last year, and we, I felt it could be better in some spots. And so I really challenged him. Brody's a really good player. He's a natural punt returner. He's a natural kick returner also, and an off returner. So he's done a really good job you know, in that phase for us right there. So I, I really like where those three guys are at. We have a lot of uh, youth there also uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, Grimes is doing a nice job for us at those spots. So a lot of guys are getting reps right now to be able to get it done. And then in the kickoff phase right there, the, the, uh, in the return phase, the off returner is probably the most important guy, and uh, Winemaster has done an unbelievable job at that. He's done a really good job of being smart, so we've done a lot of work on that phase already. Why is, it, why is that position so important? Uh, he's got to make he's got to make critical blocks on who's hot. He's got to be able to understand, and his job is to put a, put his face on somebody. He's he's a pulling guard is what he is like. He's not back there to, 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 to lead up and not block anybody. He's going to have to have someone. He's got to make fast decisions. We're going to always protect that guy. So a lot of decisions. We have not, we've worked the punt return game heavily individual-wise. We haven't worked very much team-wise in that phase of it right now. But kickoff return is fully installed. Uh, you know, the, the couple things, you know, with Brian, uh, with Buscini is that he's done it at an elite level. You know, he was the, the, the kicker of the year last year at, at uh, FCS, so that's very impressive. So he's done this. He's had he, his makeup is very good to be able to handle those situations. So very impressed with just how he, he has a great routine. We give him a routine with what he has to be able to get done, and he attacks it uh, with great diligence. You know, give you an example for spring break. His spring break was going with his former punting coach and flew down to be able to go see him and work with him. So that's pretty impressive to be able to get that done. But he's uh, got a very good even demeanor, uh, which you have to have like that because you don't, not every punt's perfect, not every kick's perfect. So you got to be able to have a, a, a short memory, but also a good demeanor on how you handle things right there. And he's done a great job with that so far. So very impressed with his work ethic. I feel like the two of you could have some interesting conversations. He's pretty dynamic as a communicator, so are you. Yeah. I don't know what's what's dynamic. What do I do that's dynamic? Do you have any example at all? Uh, you got a personality. <laughs> uh, I, Brian is very fun to work with right there. We, we we have a great group right now. We really do. And we have a couple guys. You know, we can't speak on everybody that's not here right now, but we have some guys coming in. But uh, Brian is a lot of fun to talk to. Uh, he has a lot of energy with what he's doing. And so I do enjoy being around him. He really is. You know, he's a very uh, grounded young man. Uh, he was married. You know, he's you know, he has a house here, those things like that. So he's all focused on what he's going to do in school, what he's going to, what he's going to do uh, with punting here. And so very excited to have him around like that. But we have, we have a lot of fun. We have, we, have, we, have, we have a good group for us right there. I'm sure sometimes they don't think I'm a lot of fun you know, with them because I, I, I like things to go the right way a lot. So I'm kind of a, kind of a fan of things going well. And they said you, you can get fiery when things don't go the right way. Yeah. Is, that, is that different from maybe what they've experienced? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's different with an experience like that, but you know, we're all football players. We all wear helmets and shoulder pads and stuff. So the whole thing about you know the kickers, punters, and snappers, and you know, you know, 
touch, you know, just be real cautious with them and stuff right there. There's a time for that, like that. There's also sometimes right there that their job's to do this, and so do it, and they're going to get coached. There's a difference between being coached hard or being instructed than there is in yelling and so like that. So every time we're talking, we're talking instruction of what it is, what has to get better uh, in that phase for us. Because it's, you know, for, for those guys, it's fourth down every time. You know, they only, they only play on fourth downs. And so it's a, that, that's, that's a dicey situation for them right there. There's not a lot of do-overs. You throw an incomplete pass on second and 10, it's just third and 10. You have a chance yet. You don't, but you don't, you don't get a double down like, hey, I missed it. Let, let, give me one more shot at that. I'll, I'll get it this time. So everything's fourth down. So I put a fourth and one mentality in them every day. You know, uh, Grant Devilson is doing a nice job for us, and then Jacob Hole transferred in from uh, ne uh, Nebraska Wesleyan. Both of them are doing a very good job. Uh, that uh, Grant's been here with us, and so he understands the uh, the regimen of what it be to be a Division One football player. And uh, Jacob's doing a nice job with that also. So those guys are getting reps all the time. Uh, need a little bit more consistency with them. They'll have some punts that you'll that are, that are wows. And so we have to be. You got to just be. It's, it's a lot of like golf. It's like that 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 guy down the fairway. So we're looking for 42, 43 yards with hang time. That's that's great. We love fair catches. That's our that's our job. I, I tell you, it's a punter gunner game. Gunners are the outside two guys. I want hang time. I want the ball controlled because anytime as a special teams coach, if I'm coaching someone that's bombing balls, I can't wait to get a return on you because we're, we're going to catch the ball with about 25 yards of space. And so you want to be able to get the net is what you want to be able to get done. If you average in that area, you're going to be top five in the country. Coach, what makes a good punt gunner? I know Marcus Buford. Did a nice job. Really well, first thing I always look for, I always look for offensive guys first because they're natural releasers on, on wide receivers are natural on doing those things right there. Running backs don't have quite the release work, but they do. So it's, it's a whole different game. It's radical release, and it's incredible speed down the field. Our, our number one job is to be able to control the ball in some fashion to where it's going, and we want to be able to force fair catches. And if they're going to single us, it has to be a win with the Gunners. And if they're going to double us, I mean, they're going to be light in the box, and then we have to do a great job of beating the double team for us. And then also now when the net, the guards tackles, now they have to show up in the, in the that phase but we show them a lot of clips like that if you're a real dude and they want and they double you it's legal to beat them you know, it's, I check the NCAA rules you can do that like that so we got a lot of film of, of great reps of guys beating them like that so I want a guy that's like when they double them like and they're like this I was praying they double me watch this I'm gonna make I'm gonna embarrass these two guys that's the kind of mentality instead of being like ah oh, they're, they're doubling me yeah yeah that happens Uh, we didn't have a, we had a specific guy at that, but we were very impressed with, with uh, uh, and I, honestly, I don't have their names. We had several NFL guys that we showed this year uh, that, that did, a, did a tremendous job. The guys for the, the, the Texans were really good at it, uh, the 49ers. So we've showed them several clips of film of what the effort is and what the technique is to be able to win at that position. Now we'll show them bad reps, too. We'll show them what the, what the difference is in that area. What makes Tommy Hill a natural as a returner? Uh, it, the one thing about punter trainer is, so you walk into the room and it's uh, uh, first day of meeting or any sort of that, and you're like, who wants to return kickoffs? And 30 guys put their hand up like that because they catch the ball and the other the guy's 30 yards away from them. Who wants to be a punt returner like that? There's like three guys. It's like, and so I said that before in, to the media, my favorite people in the world, obviously, is my wife, my daughters, and a punt returner. Because that, that's a man's job to stand back there with your chin up in the air and the wind blowing. And if they're within one yard, they can take a free shot at you. So that's a real dude. And so I just look for how natural they are at catching the ball, like to how well they can just adjust. They just have an idea. You really don't make a great center fielder either. That guy just sees the ball off the bat, boom, runs over there and catches it. That's what you look for first, is the ability to track the ball and to be able to have a good feel for that. And then how they catch it naturally like that, and how fast they can get started uh, back up the field like that. So it's all about making someone miss. There's never, not, there may not never, but in general, a, a great punt return, there's never going to be one. It's like, man, we just blocked everybody and ran for 40 yards. It's going to be, no, we, we got him started. He made someone miss, and we had great effort down the field. How's the, uh, how's the decision making been between fair catching and returning? Well, it's been good. But like I said, we've worked mostly individual stuff with it. I haven't worked as much uh, with the team stuff with it. So. The, you know, there, I've been around people that talk about, you know, we're, we're not going to fair catch anything. We're going to return everything. In my opinion, that's dumb. It's just like poker. You don't go all in on every hand. So it's like if there's a ball that's kicked with great hang time, it's a 4-2 hang time, and it's a 37-yard kick, you're gonna, there, there's nowhere to go. We just want to secure the ball it's like that. So I, I tell them after every punt return or every 
kickoff return, there's going to be two signals by the referee. It's either going to be touchdown Nebraska or first down Nebraska. That's it. We're going to possess the ball is our number one thing we have to have happen. Before we even worry about returns, possess the ball. If we have the ball, we can score. If we don't have the ball, we can't. So we talk about that real heavily at that. But the decision making is used all the time. So we'll, we'll work on whether it be backed up, different decisions where they have to retreat and catch balls, come forward and catch balls, side to side. That whole uh, repertoire will be in there. Was that, uh, you know, it obviously it wasn't didn't go as well as it went to, and I'm not trying to ditch anything with it. But sure. you know, like I said, like that, I, you know, like, like I said, with that, uh, I wasn't in, in, in involved in that phase of things because uh, I couldn't be on the field, obviously. But uh, right now, like I said before, man, we're working, but we're going forward. We're all we're all about where we're at right now, and like that. So we got good guys working really hard. So it's impressive.